What's going on? Mike Newman here with Inside Natural Body. We're doing a video. We're not even taking the picture. We're doing a video. We're live. We're live. Jim Evans is part. Jim Evans came. That's how big this show is. Jim Evans even made an appearance at this show. But uh, we're here. We're live. It's the finals, and uh, we're over with the pro men now. Cleveland Thomas is the 2012 IFPA Pro International Champion with Cleveland. Getting your work cut out for you. I mean, first you had to get by Mojo Lua and, and guys like that, and then you had to get through Ryan Norris and the overall pros down, and it was really tough to get by Mojo. Uh, so let's talk about that first. Did you have a feeling that Moji, he might not beat him because it wasn't a give, it wasn't hands down. He didn't really walk away with that victory right there. Did you think that for a second Moji might be able to win in that one? Yes, I always come into the competition with an open mind and I go, yes, I go, I go, I go, I go, any given day I can lose. Moji is one of the top pros. I'm open minded. Okay. He's a very good competitor. Okay, so were you trying to say? You guys say in your smiles? I mean, no. I said, why? Doris is serious. I can't believe it. Oh, yeah, Doris has uh, definitely found his niche. He definitely has a future with the IFPA. I hope he stick with the IFPA. I hope he uh, continue to uh, pursue this fight with him. Natural fight with him going the right way. Um, He's going to be phenomenal. Certainly. Well, he's done for the year because he does a lot of things other than bodybuilding, but we'll talk about him. Jim, you were in the front row watching. What was your take on the whole deal? I'll tell you one thing. Guys like Cleveland are on top of the game all the time. Yeah. So. They, they can compete all the time because they stay in shape all the time. That's right. right. That's right. I stay on a diet. I keep my, uh, my weight down to about uh, 15 pounds from contest shape, so yeah. that helps a lot. It gives me to jump on my competitors. Yeah. And I, get, I think that's what a lot of the top guys do. You know, if I'm not mistaken, I think the boy did also reap him. He don't, he don't get very happy. Because you know it's hard to get out of him. We have an image. And we represent him. He's a natural guy. So uh, I take that very, I take that to heart. You know, coming in lean and representing the sport. Yeah, you have to. Now let's get to Ryan Norris and the overall close down. We had a feeling that Ryan was going to win the heavyweight class. In fact, I picked him to win the heavyweight class, so that wasn't really shocker to me that he won the heavyweight class. I just didn't know if it was going to be against you or Moji in the overall. But in the overall close down, what was going through your mind in the overall close down against Ryan Doris? Did you feel he might have you, or were you pretty confident going in that you would get him? Well, um, I am experienced. Yeah. So, like I said before, when I spoke with you earlier, previously, we said previously, um, when all of us take off our clothes, we pretty much eye each other down. Everybody does it. We can't, we can't nobody say we don't eye each other down. We, yeah, right. we kind of look over and see if, yeah. Yeah, hey man, is this looks, is this goes in, okay. or, you know, that's right. Vascularity there. Um, I noticed um, on the pictures you sent me, up doors, and what? I do my research on everybody. Yeah, I, I sent them some pictures. That's what all. That's what all the guys do too. We, yeah. I do it also. Absolutely. I go and look them up and research, and you know, see what see what their flaws are. Yeah. And I, you know, and I work on my game. Um, door, as far as doors, I think he's uh, he's got he's got a bright future. I just think he needs to come in the hard. Hey, ladies. The yeah. Hard. Oh, he's gonna. Yeah. <laughs> I have my shoes tied. Man. Oh, you're from the master. I have my shoes tied. Yeah, that's for sure. I got I that shape. Tied. Look for that He's video. right. You tell the truth. Wow. This man come in a little bit harder. Got some problems. Yeah, okay, look for that video on my YouTube page. Ryan Durant, Doris versus Cleveland Thomas going head to head. Which is just a video you should miss. What do you think about the overall close down, Jim? When you were in the front row watching this, what would you think? Did you have? Did you put Cleveland to win, or you kind well, of decided? I, I did. So, uh, what you like about the ways? I think he's really good too. Tonight it was all good. Oh, uh, Cleveland Thomas. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. IFPA for international champion. So, is uh, I'm gonna assume that the York Cup is next for Cleveland Thomas. Jordan Cup, I'm going for a second win in the Jordan. Okay. I'm give it all my best and you know, represent. Um, I'm in the heart. I'm in the heart lane. I'm not trying to come in big anymore. I had that in my head to come in larger. And when I come in larger, when you come in larger, you leave yourself vulnerable. Yeah. You know, for somebody to come under you a little bit lighter, a little bit harder, and they actually look your size on stage. So, I mean, so the audience doesn't understand something. That's right. You're going to take, 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 take I'm 173 pounds. Doris, how, 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 how much you weigh? Huh? How much do you weigh? 182. 182. I'm 173. That's almost, that's nine pounds. Okay. And, and I guarantee if you look at that film, you probably look similar in weight. Okay, well this is your second pro winner this year so far. You're going for your second Jordan Cup win at the end of this year. One guy you have not run into since 2010 is named Philip Ricardo Jr. And you're going to see him on stage in Chandler, Arizona on October 27th. Any words you want to get to Rico real quick? Um, no, Rico knows um, we've, we've been on stage together and it's never... <laughs> 
It's always a house of a Yeah. That's what it's going to be. It's, it's going to be the show of the year. It is. And between, and I'm not, not necessarily saying that me and Rico are going to make the show, because there's always somebody out there. I'm yeah, constantly yeah, thinking this. Every time I train, there's always somebody out there looking at want to come in and want to knock us off. So, you know, I like that. I like that. Make the sport better, come in, give us a run for our money. The fellas like Doris and uh, some of the other guys that was up there. Looking yeah, great. Lewis, Miley, looking Young, great. Eric um, Oster, all those guys. And, and yourself, this man inspired me. I listened to the radio, the radio interview. He inspired me to get home. Yeah. He yeah. should. He should have waited till after the show. <laughs> yeah. I always want to tell yeah. like it is. Yeah, tell the right. way I see it. That's you right. Know? Nine, <laughs> nine, nine, five, nine, nine, nine. Okay, but like you said, the Orton Cup, I think it's going to be the show of the year. Over $35,000 in prize money. The best in the world are going to be there. It's going to have the deepest lineup. The biggest quality of the are going to be there October 27th. Go check out theortoncup.com for more information on that show. Any questions for Big Jim? Right now, the, the top pros in the natural bodybuilding right now are getting so close that it's anyone's game from club from game, from contest to contest. Yeah. These guys are fantastic, and they can only do it because they're natural. That's why they compete so often during the year. They are ready for competition, and they'll be ready for the Orton. I know good enough. It's, it's, how you, it's how you it's how you lose and come back. I'm not, I'm, I don't I don't win all the time. So uh, sometimes when you, you lose, out there. when you lose, a, cha a good champion always comes back. You did. I mean, you don't you just don't you don't prove that last you year. Yeah, you don't bow down. You yeah. come, keep coming back, and you're gonna get your chance. That's for all you guys out there that want. Absolutely, it. Cleveland Thomas. Says in 2012 IFPA Pro International Champion. Cleveland, give him a close for the camera real quick. Are you gonna be at the after party tonight, Cleveland? Yes, sir. All right, big okay. Job. Old Chicago is going to be after parties. We're going to get some pizza after this show. Cleveland Thomas, the second pro win of the year. The Orton Cup for his second pro. The Orton Cup win, October 27th. Chandler, Arizona. I'm the MC. If you guys want an MC for your show, I can be your guy. All on over at ATT.net or Facebook. Check me out. Until next time, we got Jim Evans, Cleveland Thomas. I'm Mike Newman. This is Inside Natural Bodybuilding, and we're out of here. Thanks for watching. Hey.